Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Today I'm going to review the Wilcox Tactical Small Out the Front Knife. Is this possibly one of the best budget out the front knives available on the market? Let's find out. the Wilcox out the front knife one of the best available out the front knives on the market for the price well that's what I'm going to talk about in this review today but before we do that two things if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment let me know what you think about the video I'd love to hear what you have to say and also give me some ideas for future videos to talk about things like knives tools travel outdoor adventure and also, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So, just this past weekend, I went out and bought the Wilcox tackle, Tactical Knife. Tackle, tackle Knife, nice. The Tactical Knife. This thing is pretty sweet. As you can see, I purchased the Tonto Blade style. And I'll show you the front there, where the pocket clip is. And the back. This thing is actually really nice. Now... I've owned the ultra cheap ones, they're like 20 bucks. Those things break super, super fast. I've also handled and managed and sold the Benchmade and the extremely expensive three and four hundred dollar out the front knives. Now those are ultra premium, but oh hey, check it out, ding. Uh, the, the question is, are those really worth it? And I'd say for the Benchmade and those, uh, the the microblade sort of knives, they're the best on the market. I mean, they're utterly incredible. However, the price is stratospheric. I mean, they're super expensive. Now, when I was in a shop in Idaho, that's where I purchased this from. They're legal there and all that, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I saw these and I thought, dang, you know, that price is really, really good. I'm going to leave a link to Wilcox Tactical, uh, the knives there. Uh, so you can go check it out. Maybe you want to buy it. Maybe you don't. That, that's up to you. But they make several different versions. Now, the version that I purchased is the Tonto style blade. So if you look here, you look at that edge of the blade. It's pretty straight. Comes to an angle at about 135 degrees and then goes straight and ends in a serration. The blade also has holes in it here. That way it increases the acceleration of the blade and it also looks pretty darn cool. Now, that's actually pretty uh, pretty good setup. As far as the feel of the blade, when I pull it in and out, it actually works very well. It, it feels pretty good. The price is very reasonable for what you get. Now, you'll see the oil coming out of the end and then the oil on the switch on the back of the blade and so that indicates that it actually comes up oiled which is really good that means the manufacturer actually bothered to care about it so let me close it so I don't hack my hand now you can see here it says Wilcox tactical right on there that's the pocket clip and you can see the pocket clip actually clips really really tight to my pocket and also it has a glass breaker so if you <laughs> For some alien reason you end up trapped in your car underwater the one random time that happens it does have a tiny little ball bearing in the end with this so you can actually punch out a glass now one of the things is of course this is an automatic knife so there there's some legal implications with that but the overall knife feels really good now it's it's heavy it's really heavy because of uh, the the design it's pretty thick and all auto knives tend to be very thick but also it feels substantial it doesn't feel cheap so let me show you how big this knife is the whole body of the knife is just at about four inches four inches and some change including the glass breaker the actual blade comes in at two and three quarters inches so it's actually pretty small compared to say uh, let me get out my zero tolerance hinder i mean this blade is huge compared to the uh the wilcox blade you can see the 
zero tolerance is substantially larger. Let me grab, sorry, let me grab my uh, Spyderco blade. Now my Spyderco blade, which is fully manual, no spring action assist at all. This blade is huge. This is my typical climbing knife. You can compare that. I mean, all of a sudden this out the front knife looks like that's just a toy compared to the Spyderco knife or the zero tolerance. But the fact of the matter is that it actually does very well. I mean, as far as cutting and things, it comes sharp right out of the box. I'm going to demonstrate the thumb edge stop here. It catches pretty well there. The serrations are very nice and sharp. As typical serrations, they're only on a single side. When you flip the blade over, you can see the back there. But the blade has grinding on both sides, so it keeps it really sharp. Now, I prefer the Tonto style rather than the rounded style. It just makes it easier for me to sharpen. And that's a personal preference. As far as the switch action goes, the switch is hard to press. And that's intentional because you don't want this easily being actuated in your pocket because that would be bad. However, this is an interesting design. I haven't seen on too many other switchblade or automatic knives is that if for some reason you actuate the blade accidentally, well say in your pocket or in a container, the blade actually deactivates and it doesn't force through. So I'm not going to do this on my hand, but I am going to do this on my tape measure. So if I put the blade right here, and I'll see if I can do it without hacking myself. I will actuate the blade and it hit the plastic and the blade actually gave up. And now, holding it very carefully, the blade is actually disengaged from the spring mechanism. To re-engage the spring mechanism, I will hold it tight, pull it out, and it clicks. And now the blade is fixed again and we're ready to rock. So that's actually a really nice design and safety feature of this particular blade is that if it strikes a surface while opening, it will not continue to push through. So that is a good safety option. It doesn't seem to affect the performance at all. Wilcox Tactical also makes a much larger automatic knife. The handle, it's kind of big for me. So that I went with the small guy. This is very reasonable in my pocket. Compare that again to my Zero Tolerance Hinder or my Spyderco blade. I'll put links to both of these knives below. And this knife, actually, when you compare it, is really, really small. So that's very nice. So I'm going to weigh the blade here one moment while I do that. And while my scale comes up, this box actually comes in a very nice box. It's got the dog there. But it also comes with this carrying case. So let me weigh this blade out. So it weighs in at 4 ounce, 4.1. Oops. Let me try this again. Clear. Okay, 4.1 ounces. I'll show you here. So that's how much the knife weighs in at. But it also comes with this very nice sheath or holder that has a pocket belt. And it's not super heavy ballistic nylon. I mean, it's not crazy, but I would argue you don't need that. And it comes with just a little pocket pouch. You drop that in there, you close it up, and there you go. So let me talk just a touch about the whole legal issue with switchblade knives. So in some states, automatic knives are completely illegal. You can't go running around doing that in the state. I'm not a lawyer or anything like that. So check the links below, do your own research. Now I'm going to show you this spring assist knife from Zero Tolerance is legal in virtually all the states. No big deal. But let me show you the speed differential here. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Pretty similar, huh? So granted this in and out sort of action. And I'm not very good at timing it. But the reason I got this blade that has the flat back rather than the double edge blade is that the theory is a double edge blade is only designed for thrusting. I don't really care. 
that's whatever people's opinion so i prefer a single back blade and i'm not going to go stabbing anybody it's just handy to cut stuff so that's actually pretty handy check out the legality below uh, some states allow you to carry an automatic knife huh intel is calling hmm. so some people or some states allow you to carry an automatic knife if it is not concealed meaning if you have it in your pocket let me tilt my camera down here if you have it in your pocket and it is technically visible i'll show you that there your knife is not concealed okay so that's one way to make sure you follow the rules now i'm not again an officer of the law i'm not a lawyer so do be mindful but uh check out the laws in your state or wherever you're going but uh, suffice it to say this Wilcox tactical automatic knife is actually really pretty sweet it definitely will shave off my thumbnail doing the sharpness test I'll also put a link below to a sharpener the, sh uh, the, the sharpeners that I use but this is a really sweet knife for the price I can't complain love it is it a bench made and super top tier no but it's made in America so there is that I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Wilcox Automatic Tactical Knife. Please like, comment, and subscribe on my video, and also support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Thank you very much for watching.